Welcome back to more of The Sims 4. This is episode 16, I think. Um, and yeah, we are back in this here household. Oh, hello. Um, oh yeah, currently the kids are out at a scout meeting, so that's why this is popped up, I think. For this week's outing, Willow's troop is going to the beach to clean up litter. Is Willow feeling that her hand's too sensitive for this type of nasty task? Or should she go help out? Uh, just go, that's why gloves were invented. Help save the planet. Bummer. Looks like Willow spent too much time... Ah, wait! Uh, too much time protecting her hands and not enough time protecting her skin from harmful UV rays. The sunburn's going to itch all week. No! <laughs> I gave my daughter sunburn. Damn it. Okay. Um, I imagine this is Leo, yeah. There's a big deal kid in the Leo's troop who's renowned for his impressive badge collection. Leo's recent accomplishments have made him feel like his collection might be getting bigger than his. Should Leo take an opportunity this week to compare who has more badges? No, I'd be modest. You li I know for a fact, Leo, you only have one, so... Leo might have been a little too meek with the badge comparison. Now nobody can appreciate what an amazing scout he is. Well, I know you're amazing, but you've only just got your first badge, because I got a notification saying that um, he'd been levelled up in his career as a scout. Um, he's now a Griffin scout, because he got one badge um, for, like, socialisation. Socialisation. Uh, Willow hasn't reached that yet, which is kind of surprising, because I feel like she's a more chatty one. Um, and they're back now. It's about um, actually doing more friendly stuff than anything else. Oh, you're getting a call. Hey Leo, it's me, Rocket. Do you want to come over and play? Play date? Ah, uh, let's have the kids. Oh, can we not take the kids with us? Oh, well that's rubbish. I want to take Leo with them. Oh, I feel a bit mean <laughs> for Leo now. Um, I mean, mean for Willow. But yeah, we're going to go and hang out with them. That was unexpected, but yeah. Um, those badges are about doing friendly actions, not just talking to people, so... Maybe Leo's just friendly in the Willow, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, they're working up on their scout thing, and also in the last episode, of course, we went to the planet of Sixum, we went to Alfonso's home planet, he learned more about his purpose in the world, and he needs to raise um, Leo and Willow well. And, um... Oh my god, we have a whole family here. But... Alongside that, um, of course, Ja Alfonso got engaged, and this episode we're going to have a bit of an engagement party, I think. So we'll be doing that later on. I was actually going to have that happen now because it was Sunday night, but then Leo got this um, offer with his play friend Rocco. Um, I mean, yeah, you've never actually met the guy, which is interesting. Somehow this random stranger invited you. Um, but I take it these are his little sisters. Um, but I love that he has, like, he's been invited over to a play date. That's really wholesome. Uh, so let's introduce ourselves to everyone. I was kind of wanting to like focus on the kids a bit more, so it's kind of nice that we're doing this, even though the weather is still horrendous. Um, I've only got one more bad day of storms, though, and apparently it's supposed to be quite hot. Um, tomorrow's rebate day. Ooh, fun. Um, and then it goes a bit stormy again later on near the end. And that's our fondest birthday date in the week. But you guys have said you want to keep them as adults for a little bit longer, um, so. I have a solution for that in this episode, and we'll get on to that once we get back to the house. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have Leo change his outfit. Um, I guess just his normal one would do. But why don't you guys actually get inside, maybe? Oh no, now, I think this is the mum. Oh! We don't even like this kid, why are we hanging out with him? No, we were negative with him. See, so just oh, well, let's try and get along. And now her umbrella's broken. Well, this isn't. Why is this kid that hated us invited us over for a play date? Well, I'm going to send it all inside so no one gets hit by lightning and dies. You know what? And um, there's an option here to bring Willow here, so we're going to have her like join the party. She's in this play date too. God damn it! Oh, hello. But yeah, I did actually want to focus on the kids a lot more as they were growing up. Um, and in my head can, Leo's invited Willow with them. Um, so I just felt a bit mean. She can clean out spoiled food. That's probably a good deed for your badges, so we'll have you do that. Um, and yeah, let's try and make friends with this guy because we don't like him right now. So why he invited us over, no idea, but there we are. And the mum's actually cooking dinner for everyone, which is quite wholesome. Um, and Willow's just doing the washing up. She's so sweet. I mean, she's named after Willow, of course she is, but she's off doing that. These two, are they getting along now? 
Okay, good, they're in the green, so these two are actually getting along. I feel like they might have had a fight at school or something, but... I think they both secretly knew they were both, like, really cool, so I to be friends. I'll get Willow to introduce herself to Rocco as well, because she's part of this group. I mean, they're chatting away, but unfortunately they're all separated, because he's just sat on the chessboard. They're just there. Oh! Willow's got a badge to collect. Excellent. Well done, Willow. I feel like a proud parent. Uh, can you all sit there together and chat? Yeah, let's all do that. So I think this guy's their dad. This is their mum. Then they have, he has like twin sisters and then obviously here's Rocco as well. Um, so we're all just sitting here chatting by the looks of it, having a bit of a play date. Okay, positions have kind of swapped now. Now Willow's getting involved talking to the whole family. I mean, the dad's just being a bit of a loner over there. Um, and then now Leo's like, hey guys, I'm still here. So switching between them and why does the mum look so sad? Oh. Oh, Rocco's actually about to age up into a teen, so he's a little bit older than us. Um, but his dad is actually... He used to be Travis Scott, but he's got married since then. He took some other guy's name. But this is his mum. Um, and this guy here is actually... He isn't dad to any of these three. So obviously they've just gotten together, and these are children from previous relationships that she's had. So that's kind of interesting. I like that it's clearly a rich life that this woman's had. Um, she also only has six days left until she dies, so... Sorry, kids. Get to know your mum while you still can. Thanks for hanging out with me, Leo. It was okay, I guess. All right, Rocco. I mean, you started off hating each other, and now... Oh, you hate each other again? They've gone back to hating each other, so I don't think it's gone particularly well, but we're actually starting to get on with him, so there we are. But let's send these two home. Oh, Rocco doesn't seem to like his siblings, especially when his mum's playing with them. There we are. Oh, that was lightning. Hello. Oh, and Willow now has a badge to collect, so let's have her do that. What one is it that she needs to get? So she'll be, this is the one that Leo got as well, so they both have the same amount of badges now, which is nice. Um, so let's see Willow collect that. She seems very happy with that. And now she's been promoted to a Griffin Scout as well, because she has one badge. So that's very, very cool. Um, view your badge progress, let's see what we can do here. Okay, so she's got one out of six for good deeds, which I assume is um, cleaning up that washing up for that lady. Um, I felt bad that she didn't get invited to the play date with Rocco, even though she ended up being the one who actually got on with him. So maybe those two can continue to be friends. I feel like Leo may need to um, work on it a bit more if he wants to be friends with Rocco, that is. But yeah, these two got engaged in the last episode, which is very, very exciting. Um, and we're definitely going to do the engagement party because it's been too long since I've seen Alfonso in his top hat. Um, but yeah, he's been texting his contact, Arlene, that we met in the last episode. Um, he's quite tired actually. But he's kind of been saying, um, I feel like, you know, we actually ended up getting together quite late, Jay and I, um, in our adult lives. And, you know, Jay had the kids a bit later in his life as well because, you know, we weren't really sure if our relationship was going to work out or go anywhere. Um, and I feel like we just don't have quite enough time with the kids still. If the overlords want us to help them age up well and grow up well and have a good life. Maybe we could be around for a bit longer. And Arlene's had a little words with the overlords and um, they found Alfonso made a pretty good point. So she actually sent them, if I can find it, one of these each. Um, what is it? I think it's this here. Perishing of youth. So drink this to turn back the clock on your sim's current age. So we're going to have them both drink that. <laughs> So there we are. He's drinking that. And if we go on to his age, that's reduced us down. So now it's another 24 days until he becomes an elder. So it kind of like resets this bar here. So if we get Jay to do the same thing. And we can see it go down. So he had a week to go. Drink that, and boom, 24. Um, I'm not sure I'll have them go the whole 24 days before becoming elders, it depends. Um, but we'll have to wait and see how it goes. But yeah, um, the plan was for them to do um, a proper... Oh, Alphonse has gone to bed. Actually, yeah, it's very late, everyone go to bed. Um, I was supposed to have an engagement party for them tonight, but then the play date happened, so that didn't work out. But maybe tomorrow night after school and work and everything, we'll have an engagement party. Madeline Shibata was adopted by Penny Pizzazz with her, their partner, Landon Bida. Nursie Lewis was adopted by Christy Mahajan. 
and Katarina Lynx and Arush Chuhan or Chauhan got married as well. That's cool because Katarina Lynx is actually a crazy cat lady in The Sims. Um, her household was like her and seven cats. So it's nice that she's found someone. Okay, and it's rebate day today. Um, all object purchases in build mode earn a 10% rebate for today owned by an object worth at least 500 Sumerians to complete this tradition. Watch for the rebate to arrive in household funds later this week. Um, Jay is just doing some of Alphonse's housework for him because he was asleep, which is very nice. Um, it looks like Alphonse is going to have a shower. And then, oh god, everyone's getting food. Well, they was doing that business. Um, so yeah, I guess we do have them buy something. I imagine the kids don't do it, do they? No, they don't. Oh, you're embarrassed. Oh, you got your privacy violated. So I'm watching on Willow while she was having a pee, which isn't ideal. I think that was Alfonso. Yes, it was, wasn't it? Yeah. She went to have a shower. Well, you know what? Cook some breakfast for everyone, even though Leo's already taken it upon himself to do that. But, you know. And while we're here, we might as well... Oh my god, we've got holiday items coming up. It's not Christmas yet, guys. Um, we might as well, I think... Um... Have a look at some stuff to buy for like tax rebate day or whatever. Um, or gaming console, that could be quite good. How much is that? 799, that would fit. Um, I think we're going to buy a gaming console. Just for Alfonso to complete that tradition for rebate day. Um, something for the kids in it. So that's complete for him. Oh, and Jay. So it's just one thing per household. Okay, that's good then. Um, so tax rebate day is complete. Oh, it's disconnected. Oh, okay. So we need to connect it to a TV. Okay, cool, that works then. Uh, so, we have a games console now. New development, yay. Um, celebration, I guess, of no one dying on an alien planet. Willow's gotten in the habit of doing dishes by the looks of it, so that's nice. No one seems to want to eat um, Alfonso's school cheese, even if the quality is excellent. So well done for you, buddy. Um, in fact, shall we have a look at this in first-person mode? So apparently you can do that now. So there we are, we're just eating... Real cheese in first person mode. And that's shift and tab. So thank you to people pointing me out that I could do that. Because I had no idea that was a thing. Work for Jay starts about now and the kids are heading off to school with their homework done. Yes. Uh, Alphonse is heading off to work now. So everyone's busy today. And then when he'll get back, hopefully we can plan an engagement party. He wants to help Willow with homework. That is wholesome as hell. And our rebate's been received. 79 um, simoleons in tax rebate. There we are. Not the most exciting holiday on The Sims, but you know, what can you do? Another standardized test, where it was almost done when she realizes she skipped a bubble near the top. All her answers are one off. She starts to tell the teacher, but realizes she'll have to take it again. It's really only for the state. It doesn't affect her grade. I confess the mistake. Phew, Willow tells the teacher what happened and the teacher helps her transfer her answers onto a new form. Just enough time to finish the rest of the test. Performance gains small. Yes! Um, at last, Joe's presented his very own idea for a game, and the CEO is interested. Ah, oh, we've had this one before. And last time I went for picture elsewhere, and it didn't go well, so we're going to keep the original concept and see how that goes. Uh, yes! Success! Jay presents the game up the chain without the CEO's changes. Everyone loves it, except the CEO. But by now, it has so much momentum that he greenlights it as his performance gains small. Yes! You've got to get promotion today for that now. Jealousy is causing relationship issues. Ah! God, so much is happening. Um, I just, <laughs> did you see me? I just went, crash dump. Um, she'd want to invite over classmate Rocco. They really did hit it off then. Sure, we can come round. Jealousy is causing issues with those two. Grades are up. Willow is now a B student. Well done. Um, Leo's still just... Oh, he's sad. He's sad from a bummer school day. I'm sorry, buddy. Aw. I think Willow went to check on him. Bright day. That's wholesome. Um, so yeah, Rocco's come around again, which is interesting. Um, they clearly did get on quite well. Um, you can share rebate day excitement if you want, but I'm not sure that's going to do you any good. So these three are chatting. Um, it is nice for them to kind of make a friend their own age, I suppose. Um, so I'm happy about that if they can actually learn to get along, at least in Leo's case. Oh, good. I thought that was then like starting a fight, but it seems to actually be getting along. And we're back in the green with him. That's good. Keep talking. Keep talking. Oh no. Leo's gone upstairs to cry it out because he had a bad school day. <gasps> yes! I mean, I shouldn't go, yes, because 
my son's cried. You know what I mean? Um, I'm yesing at this. Uh, Leo's been promoted and he gets to choose a branch now. And um, he can be a startup entrepreneur. Entrepreneur? And that word. Uh, turn your big ideas into household names as a startup genius. It will take savvy connections, but fortune is within your we um, your reach. Rewards include the Plasmatron 3000 flat screen TV, or you can be an eSport gamer. You've been living and breathing video games since the moment you could twitch your trigger fingers. And as an eSport gamer, you can cash in on that. Rewards include the pre-perfection motion sense game mat. I mean, that one pays more, but I feel like this one feels more like Jay. I mean, he does play video games as part of like needing to get promotions and stuff, but I feel like he leans more towards the entrepreneur kind of thing. So I'm, I'm going to have him do that. Promote to the next big thing? Maybe. Um, Via Gandhi has died. I don't know who that is, but rest in peace. This is breaking my heart, you poor soul. <gasps> oh, he got struck by lightning. Oh, I missed that, but Jay just got struck by lightning. Oh, man. This is... This is a bizarre day. Lots going on today. Um, I'll just take a shower. Not a steamy one, even though Alfonso is due back soon, but, you know. Enough of those shenanigans. We have three kids in the house. Alfonso swiped an object at work. He didn't get promoted, though. That's, that's a shame. And maybe tomorrow. These two are watching TV together and talking. Leo's just staring at some books. Probably just listening in, like, what are you talking to my sister about? Um... So yeah, these two are really hitting off, which I really like. Um, and now Alfonso's back, we can definitely oh, clean out some spoiled food. But now I think, once he's cleaned out this, um, it's time to get some party started. So we're going to plan a social event. Supri wants to come over and hang out, so that's worked out well, because you're going to come over anyway. I'm just going to have a house party. Um, these two are going to be the hosts, guests, Let's not invite Nina, eh? See Priya, Bella, Don. She can come short. Zoe. Caleb if he wants to. Um, I think that will do. We're going to hire an entertainer role. We're going to hire a mixologist. And we're going to hire... Oh! Let's go just get Anvi to do it. Why not? Oh, they're in the party way already, I think, actually. They might have changed into it automatically. Yes, they have. Well, that's good then. Um, you have not, though, my love. So we'll do that. Change. Is that your party look? I don't know. Yes, it is. Um, oh, but Leo changed into his party look. Oh! Leo has earrings. <laughs> I didn't realise that. In his party look, he has his ears pierced, so that's a thing. And hopefully people will start arriving now. Yep, yeah, Supriya's here. That's good. So yeah, everyone's just kind of having a good time. I mean, Alfonso's working out. Weird flex, but okay. Uh, let's socialise with people, catch up. Um, it's nice to have everyone here. It's been a little while since we've had the chance to um, catch up memory ways. Thank for coming. Um, Don's probably feeling quite down actually. Oh, he does look sad because obviously his wife passed away recently. So we'll check on him. Um, Supriya's just playing on the computer. Uh, Caleb's talking to Willow. I'm not sure they've ever met before actually. Um, that's nice that he came round. Vampires can find it difficult to do that. We have a cake, we're making food. Uh, Zoe's here as well. Oh! Justin's just walked on in. I didn't actually invite you, Justin, but okay. And he's come straight to walk up next to Supriya. Oh. I think there's a bit of a spat there that Alfonso just like, what's that about? And now Supriya's a bit angry. Oh. Well, I need to walk away. I think Alphonse is a bit concerned having overheard that, so I think he's going to check on Supriya, ask if she's alright. It's an uncomfortable and unpleasant conversation that these two are having. This is the entertainment, Alice Martin, and Don's just sat right next to her and talking to her, so maybe he's moved on just, just fine. Alphonse has learnt that Justin is neat, and now he's feeling tense from the storm and because these two are getting a bit heated. Um, I think he's kind of saying, why are you spending so much time on the computer, just talk to me. Um, that's a bit strange. Oh. Alfonso just sat there straight away. He looks a bit tense now. Oh. Oh, Alfonso doesn't look happy with that. He just tried to throw his drink, but it didn't work. Interesting. He's not best pleased with that interaction by the looks of it. He's just like... 
dude, what the hell are you doing? Throwing a drink at your wife, or at least trying to. Like, she didn't really do anything wrong. She's just trying to have a good time at this party. Um, maybe you've had a bit too much to drink. And now he's kind of had enough. He's angry now, just storming off. So he's just shouting it to a mirror now. I think Jay kind of saw, like, what the hell's that all about? And um, now Afon's just kind of checking on Supriya again, saying, you know, why has he had that much to drink? Can he not, like, hand his alcohol or anything? And Supriya's just kind of taking him over here and whispering and just kind of telling him he doesn't actually drink. He's like, is he like this all the time? And Supriya's like, you know, I start him off sometimes. I just, you know, I know I can be a bit annoying. I know I shouldn't have spent all that time on the computer. Um, that's just kind of how I have fun. But obviously, I know that's kind of rude and I'm sorry. And Jay just came over and said, um, Justin kind of just stormed off and he looks kind of angry about things. And Supriya's just kind of saying, oh no, he gets like that sometimes. It's fine, you know, don't worry about it. And she's just kind of pretending not really to listen to them now. She's just kind of half listening and then just pretending to kind of use the computer again. But Alfonso is kind of saying, um, is he always like this? And just as he's about to ask any more about it, um, Supriya is heading off along with everyone else, so we can't really get the answers we were looking for there and our house is a state. But yeah, um, interesting kind of engagement party. Unfortunately, Alfonso and Jay didn't get a lot of time to spend it together. Um, but sometimes that's just how it is. Um, they were talking to everyone else. Jay was catching up with some old friends he didn't see in a while. A lot of them were kind of meeting the kids for the first time. Um, but, you know, he also got a bit distracted by the whole superior situation. I'm sure they can make up for that, even though this lady's probably going to sit here and watch, aren't you? Maybe it's time to go, lady. Alice Lewis just had a baby. So did Ahana, so did Stacy, so did Summer, so did Cherish. My goodness. So it's so the next morning, and just before work, Alphonse was like, something was really wrong last night with um, Supriya and with Justin, I just, I, it didn't sit right with me and, you know, what do I do about it? And Jay just kind of suggested, you know, if you're that concerned, just go to the house and check on her. It's all you can do right now. If you're that worried, just go and check. So that's what Alfonso's going to go and do. He's going to go and visit just to make sure everything's okay with Supriya. So Alfonso's just turned up at the Dalgata residence. It's a huge place, they have a pool and everything. Clearly a very wealthy family. But he's just going to check on Supriya. Justin's just typing away. This is one of their kids, Evie. She's just watching TV. Uh, no sign of Supriya currently. And now Justin's just heading off to work. Um, didn't say a word to him as he walked past. And didn't even tell him if Supriya was on or not. And Supriya's actually just gotten back from a night shift. Um, looking fairly down about things. Walked straight past him again, saying, I found I'm fine, you don't need to check on me. Um, wouldn't even like, look him in the eye or anything. And of course Alfonso's not going to take that lying down, because he was kind of thinking, you know, she was apologising for using the computer at my party last night, you know, that's not needed. Parties are for having fun, she was having fun, she did nothing wrong. And he's going to come up to this site, and he's going to get up, and this is the site he's met with. So she's kind of hurrying off again, uh, she's staying upstairs because she doesn't want her daughter to see her. Um, but obviously instant comfort is kind of what really needs to happen here. So he just kind of got off in this other room and he's like, did he do this to you? What the hell's going on? And luckily the bruising's faded a bit now, but um, she's kind of admitting, yeah, he, he has done this from time to time. Um, in the last couple of years, it's kind of gotten really bad. Um, and I don't know what to do. I mean, we have two kids together. I love them. I have security in this, you know, this incredible home and this amazing house. Um, and sometimes he can be so sweet and so, so kind. And, you know, he's always sorry whenever it happens. He doesn't mean it. And Alfonso's kind of saying, you know, if he really meant it, he never would have done it in the first place. Or at least he would never have repeated it. Um, and I think it's time you realise that and you're worth a lot better than that. So Alfonso's kind of saying, listen, um, I have a proposition for you. He's going to ask her to move in with them just for a couple of days. While Justin's at work, so, you know, he's not going to know anything about it. Um, he's going to, you know, say a few things to Evie. Um, not absolutely tell her what's going on yet, because, you know, this is kind of a big deal. But obviously Justin would never let her leave if he was in the house currently. Um, so he's just kind of saying, you know, stay with us for a few days. Um, let this kind of 
blow over a bit so we can kind of work out what to do next but you know it's dangerous for you to stay in the house it might even be dangerous um for your daughter to stay in the house with him so we might even have to bring her with us um if they can convince her um, and obviously that's going to mean really kind of telling her what's going on if that's the route they're going to take but i think that's going to be the right thing because justin's obviously a very dangerous man right now um has been for a while as supriya was saying um he's been hitting her and they need to get those two women out of the house as soon as they can. And while he's away, um, it's the perfect time. So Jay's actually at work, the kids are at school, and the Delgado just kind of packed up their things and quickly came here. Obviously, we're going to need to work out the logistics of it with like rooms for beds and stuff like that for people to sleep. Um, and he was a bit confused when she was kind of asked to like pack some of her things and say they're going to stay here for a few days. Um, so Supri is actually got quite a difficult task on her hands now actually um because she needs to tell her exactly what's going on she's kind of saying look evie um things are really you know got into a terrible point with your dad um he's actually been hitting me um recently and i just felt like we needed to get away and i didn't want to leave you on your own with him as well um so alfonso is like to stay with him for a few days while i work out what the hell i need to do because um, I know I can't really let this carry on much longer. And Evie's like, I'm so sorry, I didn't. I knew you and Dad had been fighting a lot, but I didn't realize it was that bad. Um, you absolutely made the right call. Um, and of course, I'm supporting you through all of this. Um, I know Dad has kind of had his issues. Um, and I'm sorry that I kind of didn't even realize it had gotten this bad. And of course, Evie is like, no one's going to know. You know, I've, I've been hiding this for quite a long, uh, you know, quite a long time now. And I didn't want to get it out, but it's time to face it before something terrible could happen to me or to you. So Evie's actually going to text her dad and say, listen, um, mum and I are staying somewhere else for a few days. I think you probably know why that is. Um, and we're going to need to patch things over or work this out somehow and work out a way forward. Because, you know, you're completely wrong here. You know what you've done. Um, this is a terrible, terrible thing. And I need to be there for my mum right now. And... Um, come what may, you need to get some help and you need to get this sorted because this is horrendous. Uh, and Lily's died. She found it horrendous too. Reese Feng was adopted. Sydney Feng was adopted. Um, and yeah, she's also going to text her brother Pierce, um, tell him what's going on as well and that they're staying um, with Alfonso and Jay and the kids for a few days um, because their dad's kind of taken a very dark path in life um, and it's time to do something about it. Oh, now she's actually cleaned the counters, bless her. Uh, even Andrew made a cake for the party, but she's cleaning the counters. She's kind of saying, you know, we're going to earn our keep while you let us stay, you know, this is an amazing thing that you've done. And I think Evie was going to thank Alfonso for really, like, checking up on her mum and making sure that, um, you know, she's been okay all this time. But obviously, this is still a bit of a struggle for um, poor Supriya. Um, she's not really sure what direction her life's going to go and now what's going to happen, you know. Because deep down, Justin's her husband, you know, they've been together for a very long time. She absolutely loves and adores him. Um, but right now, he's not the man she married. Um, and maybe that man she married has been gone for a very long time and potentially he's gone forever. Um, but Evie's just kind of thanking Alfonso and kind of talking through all the problems that she had seen before but didn't realise it had gotten quite this bad of a situation. Um, and is just thanking him for kind of letting him stay with them for now. Um, and you know Alfonso's doing that which isn't ideal Alfonso I won't lie I think that's kind of his alien way of saying you know it's okay um, he was just transmitting in her brain uh, everything's gonna be fine I really really care about your mum she's one of the first friends I actually made on earth um, when I got here because I'm assuming now she definitely knows that he's an alien but I feel like she already knew because um, it didn't pop up with like he's, she's discovered he's an alien um, Okay, now it has, but in my head canon, <laughs> that's not how it is. Um, but look, I think Sophia's is trying to be quite positive about things. But you know, this is a big step forward in what I've been going on with Justin. They need to take that step. Um, so yeah, now we have two, for now, two new members of the household living with us. Um, as for like bed situations and stuff, I might have to put a bed downstairs. Um, or, you know, make more room somehow. We've got a bit of money. Um, 
I might even be able to squeeze an extra bed in this room if I get rid of some of this furniture and even Leo's kind of wiped out from school, bless him. Um, but yeah, they just needed to get away from Justin and now everything's breaking, which isn't ideal. But I think Alfonso definitely formed a very close bond with the Delgado women. Um, and I think they're really talking things through now about the signs they should have picked up on with um, Justin. Now they've kind of really thought things through. But, you know... These two have definitely been friends for a very long time. Um, he's going to want to look after the best he can. I think, you know, he probably talked this through with Jay as an option just in case um, before he went to work. And I think the kids were a bit surprised when they got back and suddenly they had two new people um, living here. But he's just going to kind of reassure her that her world hasn't ended. Um, she's still got so much joy in her life and things can only get better from here. And I think Cypriot's really, really grateful for that. And now Jay's back to... But bless her, she's still having these moments of feeling really quite sad about the whole situation. I think she shouldn't be, but I think she feels quite embarrassed about it. Um, Evie's just eating cake, probably comfort eating, to be honest, because that's a bit of a traumatic thing to find out about your dad. And now Jay's like, hello, neighbour, uh, and hello, Rumi, I guess. Um, you know, I think you've done the right thing being here, and we're going to look after you, you know, if Justin finds out where you are and tries to get at you. We're not going to let that happen. Um, everything's going to be okay. And obviously, um, I think Superior is a cop, so she definitely has like connections that she needs to take, um, and she can report Justin if that's what it's going to come down to. Um, it's a very delicate situation, um, but yeah, for their own protection for now, um, Superior and Evie are kind of staying with us. I'm going to probably have to do a few renovations on the house before our next episode as they get properly settled in, but that's how it's going to be, um, at least for now. Uh, so yeah, bit of a hodgepodge episode really, lots of different focuses. Um, I wasn't actually going to address the whole Supriya thing to this extent just yet. Um, but it needed to be done. As soon as like Justin just turned up at the party, I was like, what the hell's going on here? Um, I think you need to sleep, my love. Um, and it all kind of just burned from there. I was like, well, if it's happening like now, we need to kind of roll with it. And they were just being quite horrible. Um, in their interactions, so it just made sense to do that. But yeah, there was an engagement party. I expected it to be a bit more happy and wholesome than it ended up being, but that's the way the story went. That's the good thing about The Sims, I guess, and the way it tells stories. But I think Supriya's taking a very well-earned rest, probably, you know, the best sleep she's had in a very long time, bless her. Um, but she's taken an important first step in accepting and, you know, confessing to what's been going on, really. And Alfonso and Jay, of course, been like, you need to stay with us, you need to be safe because um, we care about you and your daughter. So they're both staying with them for now. Um, I think the next episode we need to deal with the fallout of this and really address what to do about the whole situation with Justin. Um, I mean, I don't think the marriage is going to work out in the long term between Supreme and Justin. And they've been odds for a very long time. This has been a problem for a very long time. Um, but I also think we need to get Pierce's um, kind of view on the whole situation as well. So we probably need to um, bring him over he can talk things through, maybe arrange a meeting with Justin separately. Um, and obviously that might bring up some weird things for Alfonso because obviously Pierce is the one that Nina ended up cheating on him with um, and had a child with him. Um, oh, wow, that worked out well for my story. Um, he's actually here. So let's have Jay be the one to invite him in, not Alfonso. So clearly he's heard what happened. He came straight round um, and he looked, oh my God, he even he looks sad. Look, he looks kind of distressed by the situation. So yeah. Pierce is definitely um, getting involved in this. So that's good. He's actively kind of like, I need to see my mum straight away. Um, that's good. And I think that definitely needed to happen. So Supriya is still sleeping right now. I think she needs that. Um, I think Evie's going to be very happy that Pierce did come. So thanks for coming. We'll work through this together. And, uh, you know, I'm glad that we're in a safe space where we can do that. Um, so, yeah, that is... Oh, that's a bad angle. That's it for this episode. Supriya and Evie are staying with us for now because uh, the whole Justin situation was just getting worse and worse and, you know, it could have ended in tragedy if they didn't intervene straight away. So Priya took a huge step in kind of admitting what had been going on and accepting it. Um, these two are kind of being adorable and wholesome, teasing each other. Um, and yeah, Alfonso and Jay knew that they had to stay with them and Pierce is even getting involved as well, which is good. Um, so that's really nice, although that might cause a bit of tension with Alfonso, um, but they're kind of just catching up on the whole situation right now. 
and Jerry had an engagement party, um, caught up with some old friends. A lot of the friends got to meet the kids. Obviously, a lot of it came, ended up being quite focused on the Supriya thing. But I quite like that um, because not everything is the way you're going to expect it to be. Um, and yeah, so we had that. The kids are still doing well, you know, with their scouting stuff. We've got promotions all around for the most part as well. Um, and now these two, that's actually quite wholesome. Pierce is playing video games with Willow. Probably, I don't think Willow and Liam know exactly why Supriya is staying with them. Um, I feel like, oh, look how Sally's watching her go away. Um, he's like, God, I remember when I was a kid when life was happy. Um, but yeah, I don't think we've probably told the kids why they're staying. We just know that they are. Um, but that's, you know, I think that's what's best for them right now. They're still very, very young. Um, and yeah, she's still, she really needed that sleep. She's been asleep for a while now. Um, so when she wakes up, I'm sure she'll be greeted with a hug from her son and daughter. Um, so yeah, important first step. I think we need to explore this a bit further and see exactly what's going to happen with Justin. Um, and yeah, let me know your thoughts on everything that went down. Um, what do you think, Supriya and Evie and, um, I've forgotten his name. Pierce. Um, what they're all going to do about, you know, their husband slash father. Um, I think personally that, you know, it probably isn't going to work out. I think Justin needs to kind of seek help somewhere. Um, but obviously Supri is very worried, I think, about losing like a family home um, and losing her husband that she has loved and still does love, um, which is the true tragedy, I think. Uh, so, yeah, let me know your thoughts on all of this. And... Until next time, sorry this is quite a heavy episode, um, I was expecting to tackle this quite so soon and quite so head on, but if the story is there I think it makes sense, like with Pierce showing up. Um, it could be a hard time for the Dalgaros, but I think Jay and Alfonso and the kids will help them through it, and then once they get through that I think it will be time for some wedding bells. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.